Hey guys, it's Alice. Welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, I'm going to need to talk to the manager. Okay? <laughs> just kidding. Oh my god. This wig makes me feel like I'm a mom who just picked up my kids from soccer practice and I'm complaining to the manager at Papa John's because I'm not happy with the pizza. <laughs> I'm sorry in advance for any moms that have this hairstyle. It's just a... it's... It's, it's just, it's a joke, okay? I thought maybe I'd look like super cool and futuristic, like Charlize Theron from Anne Flux, but I don't know how I feel about it anymore. <laughs> My outgrowth is really bad, so I just wanted to pop a wig on because I wanted to create a look. Anyway, today we are going to be playing with makeup and creating this awesome all gray monochromatic makeup look. I absolutely freaking love monochromatic makeup looks I, they're so easy i just love grabbing one color eyeshadow and popping it on and i really love matching my lip to my eyeshadow so i mean this kind of incorporates both and my second favorite color well right up there with black like gray is like right there it's a great alternative once if people are like why are you wearing black so much like wear a different color other than black show up to the next family function or school or work or wherever with this freaking makeup look bitch <laughs> luckily it's been enough years that my family kind of gets it like the bitch is not gonna stop wearing black and being creepy but i remember way back in the day um my parents were actually like look you need to stop you can't like we'll take you clothes shopping but you can't buy any more black and you can't get anything with skulls on it <laughs> So Hot Topic was out of the question. Anyway, this is getting to be a little bit of a long-winded intro, so I think I'm gonna head out. I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial and enjoy seeing this gray monochromatic look. I was inspired to do the gray by a makeup artist on Instagram, and her name is Lauren Rower, and I'll link her below. Um, it was the inspiration. It's not a recreation, because like I don't think I nailed like the exact look that she was doing, but I'm just... That's where I got the idea to do the all gray look. I'm gonna go finish complaining to the manager and see if we can get a free pepperoni pizza for the kids. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and let's fucking do that. I am going to begin by priming the surface. I just had a fucking genius idea. I'm like looking around like, oh, what gray eyeshadow am I going to use? Because honestly, there aren't that many options for gray eyeshadow. But I actually have some gray liquid lipsticks that I could easily just have used as a base instead. So hopefully that'll still, this, this concept will still work. I'm going to go into one of my favorite gray liquid lipsticks, which is Stone Fox by NYX and it is a liquid suede really love using these on my eyes they're okay on the lips they're pretty good but after a while they, they feel like kind of chunky so they're not my absolute favorite lip formula let's just start out like that dude this wig is so itchy I can't stand And I'm gonna go in with a brush that doesn't have any product on it to blend out that edge just so it doesn't get carried away. So I noticed that a lot of you guys really like uh, like my videos because there's a little bit of an ASMR quality to them. I'm not super into like the speaking type of ASMR but I really like sounds and clicking and like want me to do an ASMR video or if you think it'd be fun I'm not gonna like turn into an ASMR bitch or anything but leave me suggestions on what you want to see I feel like this side needs a teensy bit more okay perfect now I want to set this because um afraid it might crease if I don't because it is a liquid creamy formula I'm gonna go into this really cool gray eyeshadow that I got a long time ago from Inglot. It is the shade number 120, and it is a little, look at that, three shades in one. 
thing. When I was first starting my YouTube channel and like first like trying to decide, oh, what makeup should I invest in? I heard Inglot eyeshadows were good and then I was like, dude, I, this has gotta be like the best bang for your buck. You're getting three colors in one. So let's take the middle and we'll just stamp that all over. Maybe even adding a little bit of the lighter shade right there just to help diffuse. Okay, that's looking pretty cool. Let's grab a clean brush that I'm currently cleaning off right now. Just found out about this stuff, you guys. I mean, I got it a while ago, but Parian Spirit Brush Cleaner. And apparently what you do is you spritz it on your brush and then wipe it on a paper towel. Look at all that. I thought that the shit was clean. And it gets so much stuff off without water. And now look at that, it's dry, it's clean. This stuff smells so freaking good too. It smells like actually like I just squeezed a grapefruit in my face, like in a good way. It's so good. Let's grab the, Let's grab the gray again. On the lower lash line. Let's take the darkest gray right here and just pat that in the outer corner, just adding a little darkness. I think it'd be fun to pop some white in the inner corner. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just to like brighten it up a little bit, some matte white. We're gonna do matte white, no shimmer to say. For my inner corner, you guys, it is so crinkly in there that I have to look down completely in order to not have any creases show up. I'm not sure if I like it. Kind of looks like a wrinkly elephant's ass. Okay, you know what? I think I like I like it better with the fluffy brush instead of a packing brush. I'm gonna pop some eyeliner in my waterline. This is by Senna Cosmetics and it is the Ultra Last Eyeliner in Ultra Black. Weird. The lid doesn't fit on the back of the pencil. I'm going to use these Glow Drop Soft Focus Glow Bo <laughs> Glow Bops. Soft Focus Glow Drops by Rodile. So I am using the CoverGirl, CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made in the shade Light Ivory L20. Tested this foundation out yesterday and it's not like the most coveragey thing in the world, but I think it's pretty good. Look at my freaking, my ears are so itchy because of this wig. Next step is to smooth out all of those brush strokes with a sponge. Since it's not that full coverage of a foundation, I'm gonna compensate a little bit with some Tarte Shape Tape. I'm just gonna put that in my normal concealer slash highlighting areas a little bit more generously than necessary. Sometimes I feel like that sponge is just like too big and too clumsy and it gets way too close to my eyeshadow. So I'm gonna buff with this little duo fiber round kabuki. See how I was able to just like whoop, clean up that crazy eyeshadow but not Overdo it and then blend out brush strokes with the sponge. Let's grab some loose powder and I just want to set right under the eyes right now just to stop any further creasing. And then we'll set the rest of the face later, but I'm going to do my contour which is the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer in Blaze. Oh, 
I'm gonna need to like pull my wig back a little bit. This is gonna get ugly. <sighs> this is gonna get ugly, but I need to do it. Oh my gosh. Okay, now we can set the rest of his face. I don't know why I'm getting this German accent vibe, but I am looking for the brush that I had one second ago. Where is it? It's gone forever. It is gone. Nope, here it is. Found it. I'm gonna go ahead and pop my eyebrows on. Be right back. We're just gonna curl the lashes really quick. For mascara, I'm using the Pacifica Supercharged Extending Mineral Mascara. For lashes, I have the absolute perfect pair. This one's by Rude Cosmetics, and it is the style superlative. I just tried these out the other day. They're a little stiff and plasticky, but they're so freaking cool when they're on. I'm gonna pop them on and I'll be right back, okay? How badass are these lashes, you guys? So this thing is pretty cool. It's like a little mini lash curler. And what you do is you pop it. You pop the part with the little rubber thing under. And just gently press down. To really smush your lashes to the falsies. I love doing that. Next, let's pop some black pencil in the upper water line. We're gonna use the same one that we used before. There are so many loose hairs in this wig. It's like a magic trick, dude. Look at that, did they never stop? <laughs> you know what I kinda wanna use? I have this True Colors eyeshadow from, gosh, remember True Colors eyeshadows, you guys? I was going through all of my stuff, kind of purging some, oops, <laughs> purging some things and just trying to decide like, do I want this, whatever. Getting rid of expired stuff. This might be expired, I don't know, but um, these little eyeshadows used to be all the rage in like elementary school and middle school. No, not, not elementary school, no, that's crazy. Like middle school and high school. Anyway, I'm gonna use it as highlighter, bitch. Cool story. <laughs> so I'm just gonna be putting that on the the cheekbones and like the sides of the temples. For the main highlighter, let's go into the Marin Highlight Pro Cool Palette. And we're just gonna carefully apply that in the scent, like just right there, you know? And when I dip in, I'm kind of using like the side of my brush, see that? Not this part, this part, yeah. You get it. So anyway, we're gonna highlight the forehead. Just, I look like a freaking robot. <laughs> Ooh, blush, we need blush, oh my God. Let's try this one, I've been kinda into this one lately. It's Corda Rosa by Sigma. Oh my God, look at this. This is becoming a look, you guys. Let's lock it all in with some setting spray, shall we? It's the Urban Decay All Nighter. Oh, bitch. You know what this wig is starting to remind me of, you guys? That, that bitch from Aeon Velux. Charlize Theron. Bitch. Move over. Okay, we need to, we, we're gonna do a gray a lippy lip. Uh, but I want to try something that I tried yesterday and it was a little scary But um, I kind of want to try it again. This is the Too Faced lip injection We're gonna put this on I know that it's painful I'm aware but I think it I think it worked So I'm just gonna do it and see if I can withstand the pain In the name of beauty While we let that kick in, uh, there's three different options here. I have the Atomic Makeup 
Silky Matte Lipstick in Canal, which looks freaking gorgeous. It honestly looks so beautiful, and I almost wish I used this on my eyes instead because it's almost like a warmer gray. Might end up just going with the NYX Liquid Suede because it's like a cool gray, you know, Stone Fox. It's got like a bluer base to it, and that'll match the eyes perfectly, I think, for this monochromatic look. My lips are burning, and they're starting to get red. Oh my god, why am I doing this? Jesus, holy shit, balls. It's making me sweat, like I'm sweating. What do you think, guys? Are they bigger? I think they're a little bigger, I like it. I think it's cute. Makes me not want to move my lips too much though because it honestly just feels like they're sunburnt. Let's pop this fucking lip on and be done with it. Anyway, there we have it. This is the finished look. Do I look cool and badass or does it look like I'm about to go pick up my kids from soccer practice <laughs> with this hair? Let me know in the comments down below, you guys. I hope you enjoy watching this video and hanging out with me while I experiment with this monochromatic look thingy we've got going on. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I absolutely love hearing from you. Tell me what color I should do for my next monochromatic look and yeah, I love you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!